The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency and Intellux Marine Paint. Hey folks, Fred Golifaro here for the Fisherman's Weekly Video Forecast. And uh, mild temperatures and sunshine continue to dominate the weather picture. That's good news uh, for you guys trying to get your boats in the water. And, uh, and it should also push along the fishing a little bit. Plenty of sunshine warming up the, uh, the bays and the creeks. Uh, if you don't mind being limited to the two fish bag limit, there have been some pretty good flounder reports coming in. Uh, Billy at Chasing Tails Bait and Tackle in Oakdale reported some of the some of the sharper fishermen are doing very well off Heckshire, uh, also in Dickerson and West Channels, um, and most other people are at least managing to catch their limited two fish. Uh, sandworms and clams are the ticket, according to Billy. Uh, <clears throat> To the west, Bernie's uh, bait and tackle. We've got word from them of some good flounder catches in Raritan Bay and a decent pick in Jamaica Bay. That red hot bass bite that was going on in Raritan Bay, uh, the daytime bite really slowed the last few days, uh, but they are catching fish at night and uh, mostly on clams, according to the guys at Bernie's. Um, the Captain Dave, uh, open boat out of Sheepshead Bay. Uh, the last trip they made out, uh, last night trip, they did have 29 bass, but only two were keepers. Uh, over at Freeport Bait and Tackle, we got word of uh, some bass being trolled on the outside between Jones and the Rockaways. Uh, most of that is on umbrella rigs and, uh, and on uh, bunker spoons. <clears throat> we also got word of a good bass bite from Jose over at Saltwater's Tackle. This was for the beach guys over at Cedar Beach in the Sore Thumb on Sunday. It did quiet down since then, but apparently there were quite a few fish caught. Uh, a lot of fish on bait, clams and sandworms, but also some fish were taken on plugs. And there were also some bluefish. Uh, most of the blues fell to bunker chunks. And again, that fishing did slow down, but it can only get better over the next few days. Those waves of bluefish entering the inlets, I really do within the week, so keep your eye out for that. Uh, blackfish season may be closed in New York, but it's open in New Jersey. Uh, Jack Gunf uh, Gunfeld of, uh, of Queens, he ran down to Cape May Tuesday, fished with uh, Captain Bob Cope, and he returned with a 15.42 pound blackfish, which he entered into the Fisherman Dreamboat Contest. <clears throat> Way to go, Jack. Speaking of the Dreamboat Contest, uh, you can check out details in this week's issue of The Fisherman, or you can go to thefisherman.com, get all the information you need. And don't forget, you need to be a Fisherman subscriber to enter, and for a chance to win the Cobia 201 center console powered by a 150 Yamaha. And be sure to check out next week's 50th anniversary issue. We've got profiles of 100 people who have <coughs> left a mark on the magazine and also on our readers over the last 50 years. The cover features original art by Sergio, by uh, Savio Mizi, sorry Sav, Sav. Uh, there'll be 50 signed and numbered copies available uh, for sale, and uh, that's something that you, know, you can have for a long time, look great on your wall, so check, be sure to check that out. Uh, Savio is not only a, a great artist, but he's an excellent fisherman, and that shows in his work. Until next week, I'm Fred Golafaro for thefisherman.com. Get out there and catch some fish. The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency and Intellux Marine Paint.